I'm Nick Baspley with Canaweld uh, here in Vaughan, Ontario. Today we're going to be unboxing the PT01 DC TIG welding machine. Uh, this is a really exciting machine that we have here. It has the ability to do pulse TIG welding as well as uh, doing stick welding in case that comes up for you. So first we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at everything it comes with. We're going to do a little setup with it and then later on we're going to do some demos. So let's get started. First thing you want to do when you do the unbox is pull out your user manual and flip directly to your safety section. You want to go over the safety stuff and you want to make sure that you're protecting the environment around you, protecting yourself and protecting other people uh, from any harmful fumes, from the bright light or from fire itself. After that, the second thing in our kit are these really nice tote bags to carry your equipment around. Uh, these are nice and heavy duty and they're great for if you have to go out on the farm or anywhere else. Next, we'll take a look at what our kit comes with, the different torches and accessories. So first we have our ground clip. It's the standard alligator clip. Good for clipping onto pipes or any flat surfaces or anything you need. It's nice and heavy duty, so you got lots of contact. It's also 10 feet long, which gives you lots of space. Next. We have our 12-foot TIG welding torch. These are really nice torches. Uh, you can see it's got a ball joint here, which keeps you from kinking the gas flow down here. And it also has a swivel head up here, which is really nice in case you have to get into a tight joint or anything like that. You don't have to bend your wrist to accommodate the angle you need. You can just bend the machine like this. Next, if we decide to do some stick welding, we have our electrode holder, or our, uh, our stinger, as we call them. Uh, it's also got a 10-foot lead on it. And it's the nice light cable, which is really great for when you're welding out of position, maybe overhead. Uh, you don't have to, that extra weight of the cable pulling down on your arms and making you tired while you're working. And then lastly, we have our gas connector hose. These are nice. They've got the quick connect feature on the back, so you can snap it right into your machine. You don't have to carry around a crescent wrench with you, and you don't have to worry about rounding off the nuts slowly over time. It's a nice way to just click in really fast and get to work. Next, this set comes with a regulator. These are nice heavy-duty regulators for when you're doing your TIG welding. They're made out of brass, and uh, you clip it onto the bottle here, and then you connect the machine into here. And you use the set screw that goes into the front to control the flow of your gas for the various processes. Now we'll take a look at the machine itself. Now, this is a 200 amp machine, and at 160 amps, it's got a 100% duty cycle. Like I said before, it's got the pulse TIG welding feature, which is really nice. It takes a lot of the hard work um, out of making a really nice weld, um, and you can also stick weld with it. Uh, the pulse welding feature is really great because it saves a lot of time when you're welding. It allows you to travel faster and you put less heat and distortion into the metal. So say you had to weld around a hole or a cutout or something like that, you can flick it into pulse and you can go around it and you don't have to worry about distorting all of the edges. It's uh, a nice little feature that allows you to get a really nice finish without maybe having as much training as someone else who's got a lot more experience. Uh, and you can do that without sacrificing any of the penetration or strength that's involved. So first, let's set up the TIG stuff and let's take a look at that. So first, we'll put in our ground clip. And that just clicks right in like that, the nice quick connect style. Now we'll set up our torch. These torches are also the quick connect style with the five pin. So let's pop that in there. And then we'll connect the gas right here. So after that, we know we're going to need to hook up to a tank as well. Our quick connect will hook up to the back here. And we can plug it in just like that. And there you go. It takes less than a minute or two to set everything up, and now you're ready to TIG weld out there in the field. 
So now let's show you how to set it up for stick welding. We can remove this because we won't be using the gas. It's nice to have that stick welding feature because uh, sometimes you might not want to be able to bring a bottle out there with you or lug around the weight. And it's nice to be able to just throw an electrode in and go out and fix something on the farm or when you're contracting or wherever else. So let's go ahead and disconnect our TIG torch first. Something you're going to want to remember when you're switching over is that your ground and your electrode are going to change. Locking it in and then taking our nice 10 foot electrode holder, setting it up here and now we're ready to go. These connections are really great because you're able to go in and out really fast and as you can see these are the larger style ones so they tend to dissipate heat more but they'll also accept the full size cables. So if you already have a welding setup, you can quickly take the cables off your larger machine and go right to this without having to purchase other smaller cables. It's really nice to have that ability because it saves you lugging around all that weight and spending all that money uh, on extra cables, extra grounds, and all that sort of stuff. So now we're ready to demo this machine. We're gonna check out its TIG welding DC capabilities. Uh, we're gonna get some nice 1 8 pieces of mild steel. We're gonna set them up in some T-joints and we're going to TIG weld them and see how they look. And then after that, we're going to use the stick welding function. And we got some bigger pieces of quarter inch mild steel. Same thing, we're going to do some T-joints and see how they look. I can't wait to see the results. Now let's take a look at the results. First, uh, we're going to look at the TIG on the mild steel. Came out really nice and I'm happy with it. And then our arc welds that were much fatter came out really nice too. I'm really pleased with these results. So that is our TIG welding uh, DC pulse machine. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a lot of fun out there. and Keep welding safe. I'm Nick Paspley. Thank you.